Mustang, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Audi S1 EKS RX Quattro. And, to be honest, I don't really know much about this car, except I remember driving the Audi S1 in most 2012. <laughs> but I have it fully upgraded, and I have no tune as usual. Now, this tracker, now for this car, we're going to be using the Ski Jump Race. Because I think that's kind of the best track for it. The American Petrol Ski Jump Race. Now one thing I noticed, it sounds like the Ford Focus, but it has the backfire and the idle of the Fiesta, which I just reviewed yesterday. So that's pretty interesting. But now I'll go quiet and see you out on the track. What the hell are you doing in this race? I thought I told you this one was mine. I make a race of it, I'll school you. If he could drive as good as he talks, there'd be no way you could beat him. think you can take him. Think you'll ever be as good as me? Think again. This thing slides like hell. They overpromised that Quattro thing. That is not Quattro. And another thing I noticed is right off the start, it spun tires like hell and back. Like normally the cars do spin tires, the round cross cars do. But this thing spun them a little bit more than usual. Like even when I was going down the track, I was having trouble passing some of the people because it was still spinning tires. I mean, this car is good. Like, I imagine with some camera settings, maybe a transmission setting or something like that, this thing would be pretty dang good. But as it stands stock, with stock tune, like you saw it's still a little too much there, it's not that good. But I do recommend getting it, because as I said, after a tune, I think this car would be a pretty dang good car. In fact, I think it would be about equal with the Focus RS on here. The Fiesta is a little bit better, though. But, of course, you're getting them both in a bundle. If you end up buying the bundle, it'll be cheaper than buying them separately. But, at the same time, you get both of them. I mean, two cars for the price of one, that's pretty dang good. But, I recommend getting this car. It ain't a bad car, once you, I think, once you get a tune on it. It's just they overpromised that Quattro bit. Because they don't allow Quattro and Rallycross last time I heard. They outlawed it because it was too OP. But... I recommend getting the car, though. I mean, it's a pretty fun car to drive when it comes to rally crossing. But that's all I really have for today's video, and I'll see you guys later in the next video.